dealing with llamas is never a simple job. It can be dangerous, but more often, it's just disgusting. I've been spat up before. I've been absolutely covered in the stuff. It's green, it's fermented, it ain't pleasant. So I'm hoping I'm gonna duck out of the way, Rob's gonna cop it, and uh, everyone's happy. In our herd of llamas, we've got some real characters. One of my favourites is the king, Elvis. We've also got Dusty, Busty and Dolly. They're a real trio. Today, the boys will be introducing Elvis to his three-month-old daughter for the first time. You do all running. OK. But the llamas have been out grazing all summer. This increases the chances of getting worms. Come on. Parasites that can cause very nasty complications or even be fatal. So they need to bring them in for worming treatment. Right, I've got this side, then. You get ready up there. They're going, Dave. Run. Run. Come on. Come on. Elvis has left the building. Weighing in at around 30 stone each, these llamas are large and powerful animals. So Rob and Dave are using equipment that's normally reserved for cows. About there. One more. To inject the worming medicine, Rob and Dave need to get in amongst the herd. There's not a lot of room for us. Which, in this case, is quite literally within spitting distance. Oh, then. Steady, Elvis. Right, let me get in on, on the edge. It's now or never for Elvis. Right, go for it. <laughs> you good? Right, let me rub it. Elvis? He actually did behave himself there. I was expecting a, a little bit more uh, spit flying around. Right, busty. Hang on to her, Dave. She's always a handful. Right, go on. No llama drama yet. Yeah, I'm Dolly. Doing, I'm going to do Dolly. I'm just rubbing the side just to numb it so she doesn't feel the injection. There we go. And rub it again to make sure she feels no pain. Three down, one to go. So far, Rob and Dave have avoided a soaking, and now it's eyes down for a full house. Your, your last patient... This is dusty, isn't it? She decided to lay her down. Oh, wait. Come on, flower. Right. Oh. Oh. Give up. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Just get on with it. No, no, it was going so well. No. You've done it. Oh, come on, get out of the way. Oh. Don't me up. <laughs> oh, God, I can smell it. Things were going so well, we'd done three with no trouble at all. It got to Dusty and she just got an angle on Dave. She gave him a real good spitting. I managed to stay down, I kept low, I kept out of the way. I'm really sorry, Dave. It's all right, I hear it's a good conditioner anyway. <laughs> Injection's over, it's time for Elvis to meet his girlfriend Priscilla and his recently born daughter, Lisa Marie. Are you beautiful? It's a lovely moment, this, because it's the first time that Elvis will have met Lisa Marie, his daughter. She's a fabulous little career. Uh, she, she's a spitting image of Elvis. Uh, I'm hoping they're going to gel. I'm hoping they're going to get on really well. The plan is we're going to open that gate, they're just going to trot out, down the yard, straight into the pen, good as gold. We hope. I've got this gate. You go in. That's it. Right, we're through, we're through Dave. Right. But when it comes to introductions, it's not Lisa Marie that Elvis is interested in. It seems it was Priscilla who was always on his mind. It's fairly obvious from proceedings that there's still a connection with Elvis and Priscilla. We're hoping for another Lisa Marie next year. Or a young Elvis. <laughs> Apart from a bit of spit, Rob, that went well. It's fair to say Elvis won't be lonesome tonight. Today I'm back in Dewsbury at a truly amazing animal rescue farm. Now, last time I dropped in, I found out that Jake, the owner, relies mainly on voluntary help. So I felt it was only right for me to come back and have a go getting stuck in. Jake Ratcliffe runs Millington's Magical Barn in West Yorkshire home to a variety of farmyard animals, 38 at the last count, who have all found their forever homes on the farm. 
Adi, baby, welcome back. Hey, Jake, it's good to be back. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. You could have brought the sunshine with you. <laughs> well, I know you're a busy man, rain or shine, so how can <laughs> I help today? Jake's being tight-lipped, so I wonder what vitally important job he could possibly need my expert help with. Now, this is the most glamorous of jobs, but unfortunately, it's an essential one of the sanctuary. I thought I was a guest. What you got me doing? Well, everybody's got to start somewhere. And unfortunately for you, now we're going to be starting by collecting some pool samples. So if you want to grab one of the sample pots, JB. Yep. And now it's just a case of waiting for them to do their business. We could be a while. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you need to do this? So it's an important part of maintaining health within your, your flock and your herd. We take these samples uh, and we analyse them and send them off to the laboratory and then they, they take a worm count and if it's a dangerous level, we'll then give them a wormer accordingly and get them back all healthy. Jake does the worm count in autumn, when the risk of worms is higher after a season of grazing on grass. All we need is for some suitable samples to appear. Everybody's walking around with their legs closed. <laughs> but Jake has the magical touch when it comes to getting goats to go. I'm hoping this might stimulate a bowel movement. <laughs> I tell you, when I don't want them to pull on my patio, they do, but when now I do want them to pull, the keeper's waiting. Oh, oh there we right. go. <laughs> Look at that, like a magician. All right, here we go. Right, is that enough? Yeah, it looks like you've got enough there, JB. At last, the backbending work is done, and we've picked up enough poo to be sent off for analysis. So now, I'm going to take the opportunity to catch up with some of the farm's biggest characters. Come on, boys. Including Clifford, the mangalitzer that we met last week, after he was rehomed from Hertfordshire. But it seems like Clifford settled in since the last time I came. Yeah, most certainly. Last time you were here, not quite made friends with the other pigs, but they've now fully accepted him into the gang, and. Uh, he spends most of his days out foraging with Diego Truffles and uh, there's an occasional spat with Bobby, but <laughs> that's what brothers do, right? They like to fight. Well, I know it's a lot of hard work, but I think these moments really make up for it, don't they? Yeah, most certainly. It is hard work, you know, and there's real times of struggle, but it's moments like these that you can just spend with your animals that are really rewarding and they make it all the worthwhile. Well, you're doing a great job and all the best with it. And thanks once again for your help today. Well, I'm tired and, to be honest, a little bit smelly, but it's been totally worth it. Meeting new animals is always a pleasure, but meeting people like Jake, who dedicate so much of their time to caring for them, well, that's just really special. <laughs>